Jack Jack Vlogs here. I'm happy. I'm very happy. I got camera. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I, I can't help it. I'm happy. But this flashing's got to go. Okay. So give me just a moment. Uh, ah, there we go. Whew. <laughs> anyway, JJ Vlogs here. I'm sitting in front of my big kitty cat. Hey, he's kind of protecting me. Get a better view of him. <laughs> but anyway, I finally got my video up running working uh all i can say is i'm gonna go ahead and make this video like this if you want me to make something for you i will leave you a shout out in the video as i make it and you the viewer you you will have a way to be able to know it's yours. Yes, this is Rachel Stibling. It was created by Rachel Stibling. Anyway, <laughs> I'm giving a shout out to Victoria Justice. Her birthday just passed. I'm giving. A shout out to Rihanna. Her birthday is today. So, yes, I am very happy myself. I'm having a great February. I'm hoping everybody out there is. Yeah, I'm single. Big deal. I'm enjoying myself. And the only thing I can tell everybody is be you. <laughs> do you. Everything you can do to make yourself happy, go for it. Because there's nobody else going to do it. Nobody. And all I can all I can do is uh, have some fun. Hopefully everybody out there is enjoying themselves. Like I said, and I'm just proud to be able to say hi. <laughs> if y'all need me or want, want a video of your own, just come on over and let me know. Because right now, the only thing I've got is a bunch of random conversations that have nothing to do with nothing. Except for... Dun, 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 Desmond Naples. This kid is 12 years old, almost 13. He's flying through the drag community. The LGBTQ community has this kid rolling man he's he's on the move today he's been flying around the world everything this kid's got it licked and i'm proud of him i'm really proud of this child i'm proud of a couple of them as a matter of fact i'm proud of Corey mason she's doing an awesome 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 job at also being an advocate um these kids are making their lives, and I mean, they are really booking at it, kid, people. These kids are just wow and me to death. I mean, amazing, very amazing, because there, there's nothing, there's nobody out there like them, and I mean, seriously, there's not. Jazz Jennings, she's famous is doing wonders she's she's already built her future and i'm i'm loving these kids because they're doing their thing they're not they're not trying to be anybody else they're not telling everybody to become them that's no don't uh, don't even think that these people that are saying such things or that they're in danger they're not in danger these kids have it all man they've got security guards number one they've got security guards that's just deadbeat 
right on. And security don't let kids get hurt. Their moms, their dads are there. They've got parents. We all have parents. Our parents were very protective. If somebody got too close to you, what would your parent have done? They'd beat you. They'd beat them to death. And then they'd had you hidden. <laughs> so don't think nothing about it. These kids have hit made. I'm telling you, they are doing an awesome job. Uh. Another one I want to give a shout out to is Tommy Chong. I mean, check this out. This guy, this man has been around since I was little, since I was a child. And Tommy Chong is my hero. <laughs> I'm telling you, him and Cheech Marin, they, I was raised on them. The funniest guys I could ever see on TV, they are up, they're moving, they're going every day. I'm so proud that I can see Cheech anytime I want to on Instagram, on Twitter, on Facebook. He's got it. He's doing it. And, man, I love them. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, they're crazy, but they they are the best role models for people and it's not because they do this or that or the other I don't care about their marijuana it's the fact they're funny they're true honest American upstanding people and they ain't nothing Nothing in this world that means more to me than somebody that actually gets out and helps the community. And that's what Cheech and Chong do. And whether anybody knows it or not, I, I like them. I also want to give a shout out to uh, Sabrina Carpenter just for being her. She's doing awesome. She's, she started off young. Got a got her feet under, and she's taken off as a pop star. And I'm I'm happy. I'm so proud. Uh, I don't know what else to say about her. Right here's one, man. I guarantee you can know who she is. The one on this side. That is Reese Witherspoon. And if you don't know her, especially by now, you need to quit. Because she is one awesome woman. And her and her daughter, they do all kinds of different shows. They've, uh, they've donated to different uh, causes. And I'm proud. I'm proud to be able to know that they's in my uh, generation to be honest to be around my generation because our generation really didn't care that the world was falling but we're still here and it's because we're brave we're strong and we're smart enough to get out and work even if it's doing YouTube <laughs> it's a job it is a job and I can't say nothing about it I cannot I'm sitting here doing it I know there's millions trying to do the same thing I'm not getting paid for my YouTube I get demonetized on every one of them and it's cause YouTube don't don't see me as popular and I'd say there's a lot of yuns out there that wouldn't want to see me all the time. Uh, that's fine. I really don't care. I, uh, I'm just on here trying to give some inspiration to the new generation that's coming up, growing up right now. They're, they're awesome to me. They, 
they inspire me more than the adults ever will because the adults they they all bore me the adults really bore me for the simple fact they're above the raisin if that makes sense they are above the raisin and uh, I really I really see no reason that somebody should be that high But there are a couple of adults that I like. And yes, this is Jeff Dunham's Instagram. <laughs> That's why they're laying on his back. <laughs> I think he fell from a ski. <laughs> I think he fell from a ski lift. Sorry, I got the life in the middle of that. <laughs> Anyway, it looked funny to me. <laughs> but I'm I'm not going to edit anything out of this video. I'm just going to keep all my shout outs in. I'm going to keep anything that I mess up in. Like I said, everything I do is random. So if you don't like it, that's fine. Because somebody else might. And I'm going to just keep on trucking. Uh... Another one I want to shout out to is Vanessa Hudgens. Yeah, that's not her Instagram, but, you know, it doesn't matter. It's a picture of her and she's pretty in it. And I'm proud of her because she started off young. She did, she really did just start off really young and she got her feet on the ground she she became something of herself and kids that's all that matters all back anybody gets out there and tries it doesn't matter what you're doing doesn't matter how you're doing it you're doing it that's that's more than a plus to me if you get up every morning and try to do something it doesn't matter what I don't care if you're writing poetry. It's something. Someday there will be an editor to be editing your work. And for as far as I see it, you did awesome. You wrote it. That's you. I don't see no reason that anybody should have to look down on you because you did something different. If you're different, that's a lot better than being the same as everyone else. I'm not like anybody. I'm one of a kind. I do me. And if nobody likes it, I don't care. Because I'm me. My name is Jeffrey Lee Tig. I go by JJ Vlogs because of the simple fact. My family calls me JJ. And I don't I don't really see no reason in being anybody but who I am. Uh like I said, I give a shout out to this woman right here. That is Victoria Justice. Her birthday just passed. Ain't she so pretty? That's my queen. Anyway. <laughs> I, I'd, I'd bow to her for a moment. And she probably wouldn't like me. Uh, I know I'm ugly. Go ahead, put that in the comments. I, um, you think I care? No. I was born and raised to look like this old nasty wolf, and that's where I'm going to stay, apparently. But this old wolf, this old wolf knows what he wants and what he needs and what he does. Yeah, I'm talking in third or fourth person, but, you know, I'm, I'm just being me. Uh, I'm looking for someone, if you're wondering. 
because I want to give them a shout out. And of course, my phone's going to be a butt. He changes the thing all the time, and I can't find him. Aha. Anyway, he was live last night. I'm kind of happy. Kind of miss this fella. For a simple fact, I don't know, I mean, it, yeah, I'm trying to do YouTube, but I also watch this guy's videos, right here it is, right there, that fella right there, that is Craig Thompson, mini lad, Craig Mini Lad Thompson. Yes, I'm giving shout outs today and I'm giving them left and right. But I really don't care. So, sue me. You can't. Because it's. Man, I'm giving disclaimers on this. <laughs> I will put in the uh, description. All the names that I've said. That ain't no big deal. YouTube, please, please monetize me. I'm ready. You know I am. Anyway, like I said, there is one little feller. I'm going to, I got to, got to. I'm just going to play one video of him. But I'm going to turn down the music because the music can do damage. And it ain't to you to me so I'm gonna be nice I'm gonna pull him up like I said he does have music but I can't play the music so anyway to me this is modeling this isn't uh, what do you call it uh, being dirty it ain't been nasty the kid ain't doing nothing wrong to me it's a modeling job. I mean, you want to get to the basics, that's what it is. And nobody could tell me any different. No. But I'm going to let you see one performance anyway, and you judge it. You tell me what you think. Because to me, I think it's awesome. Let's see. I've got to find the correct one or it will be bad. Here you go. Um. I guess I go to the last one here. Maybe. You ever had that moment your phone's been a butt? Anyway, there we go. Yeah, he kind of flows around a little bit, but otherwise, this is Desmond is amazing. Desmond is amazing. And to me, I think he did an awesome job. This little guy's worked his butt off, people. I mean, look at him. You can tell he has. It's not the fact that he's running around in girls' clothes. Everybody's getting worried. It's the fact that he knows uh, things that most third graders do now. 
Makes no sense to me. I've got nieces and nephews in third grade. They know what drugs are because the teachers told them what it was. Now, explain to me what the difference is in, say, a five, ten year old to a twelve to thirteen year old. They ain't. They're children. They're going to know things. They're going to say words that people ain't heard in, in, <laughs> ever. And you think you think fuck damn hell for things like that's bad wait until the new generation comes up with their new slang that's, that's just like Snoop Dogg he says uh, for shizzle my nizzle new slang when he first said that people was standing there What did he say to me? <laughs> Nobody thought nothing else until later on it started catching on. So imagine what the new generation is going to come up with. My generation, I was born in 86 which tells my age, race through the 90s. You know what my famous saying is? Awesome! Sweet! Alrighty then. You know where it came from, don't you? 90s generation, 80s generation. The 80s came out in me. Big deal. 80s and 90s, you, you're doing great because y'all are grown. And for the ones we've lost, for the ones we've lost along the way, remember them. Be proud it's not you because I'm not, uh, I'm proud it's not me. That's gone. We are able to help the next generation along. Praise God. Every day. Yeah, I'm a full blown Freddy Krueger loving Jason helping Michael Myers back tapping. Horror addict. But I am. I am. God fearing. I read this as many times as possible. Because it has passages that are marked for me. That. I can't just. Not. If it hadn't been for God, I wouldn't be here today. I would have probably followed one of my many classmates to the grave. And I haven't. I didn't. Because I kept remembering that I've got somebody holding me up. And it's not just an angel. God's had to hold me up. And I don't know about you all. I ain't got a clue who yous are that's watching my videos. But please, come on in, subscribe. Tell me something you want to see. I'll try my best to make it. If I can't make it. I'll make you something so similar or close that uh, that it's not funny. I've done made a meme of Mini Lad. It was funny. I loved it myself. 
and I know there was people out there that liked it because I've got likes on it. <laughs> I bet you, I bet you if he seen it, he knew why I done it. Because if you slow it down and actually catch what's in the video, then you know what it's about. But you have to know many lad to be able to watch this video. <laughs> I made one about Big Jiggly. It wasn't as good. I know. I failed. But I also made one about Markiplier. And it turned out good. And I know it. But when I made Desmond's, I was honest. I was sincere about this kid. I like the way he works. I... Uh, this kid is up and moving more than I am. I'm a grown man. And I don't move. I don't do half the things this kid's up doing. Because I don't have the oomph. I've not got somebody supporting me. Never have. I've always been bullied. Even in, in, in adult life, I've always been bullied. For simple fact, I am a different type of challenge. I don't understand everything that people say. It has to be spoken correctly. It has to be specifics. I don't understand words that don't make sense. If you tell me to go jump off a bridge, it's going to confuse me. But if you explain what's going on, piece by piece, then I figure it out. Like I said, I'm not editing this video. Nope. Not a bit. Uh, my shout out to Big Jiggly. Big Jiggly Panda, I hope and pray you do some more uh, uh, Happy Wheels. I I'm missing everybody right now because a simple fact, like I said, I watch Mini Lad. I watch Big Jiggly Panda. I watch Markiplier. And I'm missing these people, man, because they've not been uploading. Jacksepticeye. Jacksepticeye is the only one. And, by the way, happy birthday again, Jack. Happy birthday, Sean. I made him a birthday video, and I loved it myself, and I got views for it. And I'm proud of it. YouTube. YouTube sent me a message saying we would have monetized this if you would have had another 55 people to watch. I can't get it monetized now. Half my videos cannot be monetized. For a simple fact, I don't have subscribers. I don't have the views. I have approximately two views on my last video. Two. Yeah, you know, you know how low you are when you your work when what you're sitting and doing every day isn't good enough for people and I sit and watch all kinds of YouTubers I do more in my videos than some of them do in a day and I've actually sit and watch some of the live streams the live streams are so long that I usually go sleep before they're over. But they're not playing games. They are sitting and talking just like I am. The only difference is they're talking about clothes. By the way, right now, I'm wearing a New York shirt. Most people get famous because they're wearing this shirt. 
I don't want to be famous over my shirt. I want to be known for helping someone. If I can pass a good word, one good word, to anybody, that's all it matters. If I made you laugh today, that's all it matters. If I look like a dog and you're laughing at my face, congratulations, you laughed. And you know what? You know what? There's a close-up of it, too. <laughs> there you go. A little closer. A little bit closer. <laughs> laugh with me. Laugh at me. I don't care. Because it's not... It's not for my entertainment. My videos are not for me. They are for you. You. You, 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 and you. That camera made my finger look weird. I think it's the fact that I'm on a laptop, though. Anyway. Hey, I'm finally up to 30. Uh-oh. Give it a second. Wait, 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 wait. Thirty-two minutes. Ha! <laughs> Yes, I want to give shout outs. I want to be able to be on YouTube. I want to be able to let people know that they, not me, they, they are special. Okay? They are special. It makes sense? Good. Because I'm not. I don't, I don't feel special. I feel happy. I'm me. That's all I can say. That's all I care about. I am proud to be me. <laughs> Nobody else has to be me. And for anybody who wants to pretend to be me, I'm sorry. You're pretending to be the wrong guy. Or the wrong person. Because you, you can't be me. But you can be you. For all these kids out here that's doing anything in the world. Corey Mason. I want to give a shout out to Corey Mason. You're awesome. To Rebecca Brusoff. I think you are the most awesome kid out there. Uh, along with Corey. I think Jazz... Jazz blows me away. She she got out and did her own thing. Awesome. But Desmond, Desmond Naples just drives me crazy because people are talking so far down about this kid. And oh my God, that's, it just makes me mad. It does. This boy should never be talked down about. He's out here living his life. God is a self a dream, and he's living. And they're talking about his private life. They're talking about his public life. Don't be. Don't. If he's private, good. He's got a private life. When he's on stage, he's a whole different person. Check him out. Watch his videos. You go to YouTube. Desmond is amazing. That's all you got to type in. This kid pops up out of nowhere, and he's doing exactly what he's dreaming of. And people are putting him down. Don't be. I'm going to back any kid. I don't care if they're anywhere from a year old to 18. I'm going to back them up. If they got a dream, I want them to follow it. I want them to get as far in life as possible. Because 
the more they do, the better off they are. You never know. Desmond Naples might be our president someday. Has anybody ever thought about that? I bet you ain't. I did. I thought about it. Kids shouldn't be put down. And I don't care what they do. They're kids. Let them grow up. Let them earn their stripes. Us adults have ours. We've done learned our problems. Kids don't have any problems because they don't need no problems. It's people like uh, you, Fauci, you talking bad about kids. All the way back here in the back row, I see you. I see you just sneaking in just to get a peep of my video. I see you. People like you talking down about kids. Yeah. I mean, it don't make sense. Why talk down about a child? Talk about Nicolas Cage. Talk about Jack Nicholson. There he is. Talk about Chuck Norris. He's getting up in his years. He might not be half as fast as he used to be to kick your teeth out. Never know. Steven Seagal's starting to get a little old. He might still be able to kick your teeth out. No Jackie Chan could. He can still climb walls. But he's getting a little slower. I'm not putting down any child. Because you got Bruce Lee, Jackie Chan, Chuck Norris, uh, Steven Seagal, Jackie Chan. They were all trained together. They back children every day. And there's nothing, nothing that I've seen them do to put any kid down. They, uh, they all respect children. Their, their respect goes beyond themselves, and I'm proud of that. My respect goes out for anybody that's doing something for themselves. I don't care if they're five-year-old to 105-year-old. But when it comes to children, anywhere from the age of one to 18, they are children. Don't put them down for their dream that they've got. Don't tell them it's worthless. Don't tell them it's not something they can do. Because they can, they will. Parents out there need to learn that lesson too. Don't never tell your kids that it can't be done. It will eventually become real. My life, my life was a living nightmare years because I listened to everyone else I didn't follow my dream I didn't become who I wanted to be because I was bullied I had people in school tell me I never could teachers students my own mother and father Told me I never would be. You know what? I never did. For a simple fact. I listened to them. Don't let people do this. Don't listen to people that holler that. That's bullying. And anybody that can hear Somebody else telling someone else this? You need to step in. You need to step up to the plate. 
pat the person that's been towed this on the back and let them know there's bigger, better things out there. And if you dreaming to become a astronaut, you becoming anything. I don't care if you said that you could walk on the moon tomorrow, I believe you. If a kid walked up to me at, say, eight years old and told me he was going to Mars tomorrow, or later this evening, I would believe him. I would shake their hand and say, congratulations, I'll see you on Mars. I want you to take a picture for me. But otherwise, yeah, bring me back a souvenir. Congratulations, I want to see you there. If a kid walks up to me and says, I'm becoming an actor, actress. Congratulations. You don't never tell a child from the age of five to 18 that they can't not become something. They are already something. They're our future. They're, go they're going to become more. Don't, don't never put a child down. Ever. It's worth more to them for somebody to walk up and punch them in the face than to walk up and tell them they're worthless. I don't believe a child has no potential. They have some type of potential. I don't care if they're autistic. I don't care if they're uh, born with no no tongue, no, no nothing. They've got potential for something. There's a guy on uh, AGT, or Britain's Got Talent. Yeah, it was Britain's Got Talent. Anyway, it's Got Talent. I guarantee you, this will change your mind on some things. He's known as the Lost Voice Guy. He walked in... He done a skit with his speaker. You wouldn't believe a person could just sit down and type out the words and it sound correct. But he done it. And I wish the guy would have won AGT. Or GT. And Britain's got talent. Because to me, that was awesome. Oh, and speaking of... Uh, Got talent. I want to give a shout out to Izzy. I forgot her last name. But I know for a fact she's out there. Izzy is awesome on her magic tricks. And she has her own magic school. I'm proud. Awesome. <laughs> I mean seriously man. This kid came in. She's 8 years old. Picks up this box. There, there's not many magicians can get a box to actually stay put. But she had Simon to do it. She had Howie to do it. They could not lift this box. She had a couple other judges to do it. They could not lift the box. There's not many magicians can get the boxes to stay put. And there's not many that knows that trick. There's not many that knows the card tricks that Izzy knows. And when they finally get it, it's still wrong. But, uh, I don't, I'm so proud of these kids. I, I'm telling you, I am really proud of these kids because they are not, uh, they're not out here doing drugs. They're not out, uh, being in gangs. They're not out being troublemakers. They're not out becoming something they're not 
set out to be. They're becoming their sons. They're doing something they like. And for anybody that's out there, <laughs> that's more than that's more than anybody can do for a kid. All I'm asking for you to do, any of you, any adult, 18 and above, 18 to 105, 110, back these kids up, tell them they can. Quit telling them they can't, because I don't care where you live. Your kid can grow up and move. They can become something. I don't care how poor they are or how rich they are. They can become anything they want to be. I'm not, I'm not judgmental of anybody. For simple fact, I've seen people become richer, and I've also seen millionaires fall to their knees because they went broke. Do I really have a moving camera? I do. I have a moving camera. Okay. I didn't know that either. <laughs> well, that's just neat. Anyway. Just go ahead. Back these kids up. Let them know that they are worth more to our society than being nothing. They are worth every dime, everything that they are. They're not for making money with. They're not for using as trophies. And for all of you, all of you that use your kids as a trophy, shame on you. For all of you that back your child up, Daisy's mom and dad, congratulations. I give you a big shout out because you're doing an awesome job. You're backing it and you backing Daisy clean up and I'm happy. I'm very happy for him. I give him I give him two thousand percent of my uh my gratitude. Like I said, I ain't I ain't never been uh able to perform in front of people I can do it right here right here I can sit here all day long and talk but when it comes to getting on a stage to move I know people are looking at me first thing I'm going to do is say I'm ugly I know I am so I mean that's just flat out. But that would probably be my opening line. If I got on AGT right now, the first thing I'd do before I ever walked out on stage, and I couldn't help it, I wouldn't be able to, especially if Simon Cowell's there, I'd go. You know why? Because I know Simon would turn around and hit that button too. <laughs> you don't think he would? I bet. Because I'm not funny. I might be funny looking. But I'm not funny. I'm not a comedian. Oh. I want to give a shout out to Gabriel Iglesias also. Fluffy, 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 fluffy. Anyway. <laughs> I'm sorry. I had to. I've never been to anything that he's done. But I get it. I got a shout out to him. I mean, he, he he's, um, mm, well, he's my number two performer too. <laughs> Between. Jeff Donald, Gabriel, they make me laugh. Big Jiggly Panda makes me laugh. 
because he's just wickedly crazy, and he is. He's a self. That's good. I like it. Jacksepticeye, so proud of him. He's a self. Keep it up. Markiplier, he does everything in the world, and I'm proud of him. I mean, there ain't no way in the world I would go out there with a kid and let a kid start throwing axes around me. So, yeah, Markiplier, I give you a shout out just for the axes, but. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> and if nobody's watched that, you need to go Markiplier's channel and check that out. That That's really funny. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's Unus Honest. It's on Unus Honest's channel. Unus Honest. I'll put the description down below in the, yeah. I'll, I'll put the link down below. <laughs> anyway. Markiplier was there with Unis on us, and you can tell, you can, I'm proud, I'm proud Markiplier's working with younger generation, that means the same thing to me as these kids getting out and doing something for themselves, for a simple fact, Unis on us is also doing the same thing, he's trying to do something for himself. Who's to say that it's not going to get better? Um, anyway, just keep in mind you kids are the future. They're going to hold you up when you're at your lowest. They're going to be behind you, standing, patting you on the back. No matter what you do, what you say to them. That's your child. They're going to love mommy and daddy, whether it be stepmommy and stepdaddy, or, or uh, biological, it don't matter. They're going to be right there with you. If you raised a child, that child's going to back you 100%. No matter how many times you put them down. I've got a stepmother. I've got a step-grandmother. You know what? I would dare anybody to even get near them to harm them. My stepmother told me years ago that I was worthless. But she's been there almost my whole life. I'd back her up 110% any time. My real mother. Yeah. Yeah. She's my mother. I'm going to back her up. I would protect my mother. But I don't talk to my mother half as much as I do my stepmother. My father. My actual dad. Yeah. I talk to him all the time. And he's with my stepmother. My mother, don't talk to me. Don't don't want nothing to do with me. That's fine. Because like I said, I'm happy. I have a dysfunctional family. You want the honest truth? I've got four different families. I had four different grandmothers. <laughs> I had a grandma. A mama. I've got a mama that's still alive. And I had granny. Three of those have passed away. 
and Mama's the only one that's alive, which is my step grandmother. And she's seventy six this year. The Halloween baby, our witch of the family, and yes, we call her that to her face because she was born around Halloween, and it don't matter. <laughs> don't matter. When her birthday comes around, all you hear is hoot owls. I ain't never in my life heard so many hoot owls until this woman came around. <sighs> Sorry, I gotta have coffee. But, uh, like I said, I would fight for tooth and nail for my family. Ain't nothing in this world better than my family. But uh, when it comes down to it, if I see somebody hurting a child or telling them something that they shouldn't have to hear, I'll back that child up before I will the adult. I really will. If I heard an adult telling a child that their future revolved around being nothing I would stand up for that child I would look at that kid and I'd tell him you have a future follow your dreams do what you can do become what you want to become don't look back ever never look back if you can become something you think you can, you got a dream, you follow it. You go for it. Be you. Do you. I've been on here almost an hour. I think I've got my point across. <laughs> Finally got it out of my blood. I can't help it. I've seen so many... So many streams about these kids, the actors, the actresses, Desmond. Uh, I've seen some about Corey Mason. I've seen some about uh, Rebecca Brusoff. I've seen some about Jazz. Quit putting them down. Quit putting down the kids. I've seen some about Italia. I've seen some about oh, another little girl. Named Anastasia. Anastasia is supposed to be the most beautiful girl in the world. She's Russian. But, like I said, I'm not judgmental. I'm tired of seeing this online. I'm tired of seeing it in public. I'm tired of seeing it, period. And if you can't quit, we need, uh, anybody that believes me, that knows me, Need to start putting this stuff online and make these people famous for something that they shouldn't even be famous for. Make them cry their eyes out. Because I'm tired of hearing about children not being worth something. To me, children are the world. Children will be our future. Children are going to make us better. This generation that is here now, almost knocked my video out. Anyway, the children that we have now in this generation, don't give up on them. Don't back them down. Don't tell them they're nothing. Please. They're, they're our future. They can be our president. They can be anything they want to be. Because they will be. They're not. They're not puppets. They're not something to play with. Kids. Kids hearts. Are hard. And when they believe in something. Strong enough. It becomes real. This has been JJ Vlogs. And by God, put a comment down below. Subscribe. Ring the bell for 
more. And God bless you. Love my friends. Love my family. Later.